Hello everybody, Tabby Cats here. Today, I, for my promised monthly video, I know it's a little bit late in the month, but that's okay. I'm going to show you guys how to operate the GE Simon XT. Um, now, for obvious reasons, uh, the communications dialer uh, needs to be disabled. So give me one second. Okay, so I had to stop the video, obviously, because I had to enter my installer's code. Okay, so now back to the video today. Uh, for obvious reasons, I'm using a four-digit code specifically for this video, 2580. Um, and I'm sorry the angle isn't the best. My phone's almost dead. It's the only way I could get it to stay while charging. So I hope it's not too much of a bother here for you. Um, so let's start with uh, the Simon XT. Simon XT is a security system by GE. It's been around for 10 or so years now. Um, I just got mine this year, actually, um, as you guys know. Um, and what we're going to be doing today is I'm just going to be going over the basic uh, user functions, programming functions, uh, things of that nature to try to help you get better acquainted with your new Simon XT. Um, so first, let's uh, discuss what each of the buttons do. Doors and windows is for when you are staying home and do not want to activate the motion sensors. This will activate uh, doors, windows, and glass break and or shock sensors, but uh, no motion detectors unless you have a motion sensor that is a night zone, uh, which you will want to avoid walking through uh, when the system is armed to stay either way. Motions um, is for when you just want motion. So let's say you want to leave, leave the door open while you're gone for your dog to look out the uh, yeah, the window, but you still want it where if someone opens it, it goes into instant alarm. You know, that's what that would be used for. Now, I will warn you, uh, you will need to have a way to either get the keypad without passing by the motion, disarm it from your phone, or, um, you know, if you have a key fob uh, remote, um, that's how you're going to have to do it if you just do it in that. When you're completely leaving the house and you expect no one to be inside or anything to be open, you're going to hit doors and windows and motions. What that's going to do is go give you an entry-exit delay, and it's also going to set your motion sensors and give you a delay on your main entry-exit zone, such as your front door, garage door, etc. So let's go over on how to arm the system. No, I'm sorry. Actually, let's finish up with the buttons. My bad. Um, disarm. Obviously, when the system's armed, you hit it. You enter your four-digit code. It disarms. Status is to check for troubles. If it's lit up, there's troubles. If not, uh, it'll not be lit up. But if you press it, you will hear this message. System okay. It's telling you the system is okay. This is obviously your keypad. This button right here with the star, this is your police panic. Your installer may or may not have set it to be audible. Um, it can also be a silent police panic. This is your fire panic, obviously. It may or may not sound the siren. And this is the uh, medical panic, um, which can also be used for other types of auxiliary alarms. So please confirm with your installer before uh, further use. Um, the medical alarm or auxiliary button uh, will just beep or not beep. However, no matter how it is set up, it will never sound the actual piezo siren, which is this. This is your voice speaker. Uh, this, the center button, and the up and down arrows are how you get to your menu. We will discuss that further a little bit later. Okay, so what we're going to do right now is we're going to, uh, I'm going to show you how to just do doors and windows. Uh, so say you're staying home at night, you're going to do this. Doors and windows on. It's going to give you about, mine's set to 45 seconds, but most are standard for about 60 seconds to be able to let the dog out and do what you need to do um, without triggering an alarm. When you're ready to disarm the system, you're going to hit disarm. Enter access code. You're going to enter your four-digit code. Disarmed. It's going to tell you the system's disarmed. For just motions, for example, when you are leaving or you're going to bed and you want to leave a door open, just press motions. Motions on. It will give you a delay to get out the way of the motions, typically 45 seconds, 60 seconds, same as this one. When you want to disarm, same as doors and windows. Enter access code. Oops. Disarmed. So, sorry about that. Um, same thing, four digit code. Um, when you're leaving. Doors and windows on. Wait for the beep. Doors and windows on. Motions on. 
It's gonna give you a delay to leave the home, shut the door. When you return home, enter access code. It's gonna start a delay, you hit disarm, enter your four digit code. Disarmed. That's simple. Now, my system is configured to be silent, but I am going to show you how this works. Um, to activate a police panic, press the police shield for two seconds. And I will actually zoom in on the uh, screen so you can see here. Well, I don't know if it'll show. That's fine. I'll you guys, will, I'll press the button so you can hear. Um, so, you're going to press the star for two seconds. Now, from what I can see on my end, it's going into alarm. As you can see, the status light will blink during emergency, intrusion, or fire, or medical alarms. System panic alarm. As you can see, it is an alarm. To turn off an alarm, press disarm. Enter access code. Disarmed. If the system's dialer was hooked up, it would have said uh, alarm communications have been canceled. However, this is again depends on your monitoring situation, your installer configuration. Um, if your it's a DIY system, it will not have that unless your phone dial is hooked up, which we will discuss in another video. Um, the fire panic, please be aware, does not usually have a delay. Again, ask your installer for that. You just gotta press two seconds. Same thing, status light lights up. System panic alarm. Enter Cancel. access code. Disarmed. Now medical button, I don't know if it's just my panel and you guys maybe will tell me it acts a little funny. If you hold it down, it will not activate. However, to activate it, you just press it twice. Like that. System panic alarm. Cancel. Enter access code. Again. Disarmed. Um, now let's discuss the hostage feature. Now be aware this feature is only good if your uh, system is connected to the police, um, you know, a monitoring sa station, center, however you want to refer to it. Um, so let's say this 2580 was my hostage code, okay? It says disarm, but if a burglar is forcing you to disarm it, right? It's, now, this will work if it's armed, and it'll say disarmed. Let's say it's already disarmed, and they're forcing you to enter the code or to arm the system. What you gonna do? What you gonna go? Let's say it. Sub disarmed. It's gonna act normal. The disarm light is gonna flash. That's normal. Um, if you wanna get rid of that, hit that. Disarmed. Either way, at this point, it's going to send a message to the central station as a system panic alarm, as a hostage alarm, and you will, help will be on the way as a silent hold-up alarm. So, let's now discuss the inside of the panel. Now, be aware, uh... System panic alarm. System tampered alarm. System tampered now, be aware, if your installer has set the tamper alarm feature, this will cause an alarm. So, please check with them always and put it on test mode if it's not DIY for opening it. So, you're back here, you're going to find your backup battery. Um, most of the times, if the system is connected to a monitoring station, it will be in this one. As you can see right now, mine is hooked to here because uh, it's a uh, voice dialer. It's DIY. Uh, batteries do not touch these when it's plugged in. However, that's the AC power adapter. Um, it has a tamper switch. To close the panel, make sure both of the bottom pieces are intact. Shut and wait for it to click. Like that. To cancel a tamper alarm, just enter your four digit code. Disarmed. <clears throat> uh, next thing I want to discuss is the menu option. Kind of hard to see for you guys. I'm sorry. Let me uh, try turning down the brightness and see if that helps. I'm not doing anything.
I don't know. Um. Darn. Okay, hold on. Try that light on, baby. Yeah, there we go. Okay, so there's the screen. Um, so let's discuss the menu option. To access the menu, hit this. You have an option to set clock. As of right now, it is 11.34 a.m. So you're going to go to set clock. It's going to ask you to enter your installer's code. Um, ha however, if it's a DIY system or a regular system, it's just going to be your four-digit code for the clock. Uh, Sub disarmed. Oops, that's not what I want. Um, so I'm just going to enter my installer code here. So it's going to say set clock. 11, 30, 4, click this again, PM or AM, status to exit. Next option is contrast, as I just showed you. This just, this doesn't do anything, this just tells you what version software it is. System programming, system test, you can do a communications test, for example. So, sensor test, and, you know, that's just because it's not hooked to the dialer right now. System programming. Now, if it is alarm company owned, you will not be able to install or access this. Access codes, system test, again, sensor test, and you can do communication test. Um, so, lighting control, if you want to hook lights to the system. Audio verify for monitoring only. Siren options. Piezo beeps on. Alarm report verify for monitoring. Silent police panics on. Volumes. This is for outside sirens. System options. RF jam detect on. Just selecting 24 hour clock. Uh, that's if you're in a 24 hour time zone. I'm a 12. Um, touchpad options. Key fob, no delay. I don't have a fob, so that would be one of those things. I don't know what half these things do. Um, timers. Latch key. Smoke supervision for monitoring. Unvacated premises. Armed LED shutdown if you want these to shut off after an alarm. Uh, siren timeouts, 20 minutes. Fail to close for businesses. RF. Alarm cancel time is off. Uh, no activity timeout. And obviously, also under this, you can do your entry exit delays. <sighs> Reporting options, opening reports, choose different things. Um, tampers, comm modes. So let's say, you know, voice dialer, if you hook your monitor station, things of that nature. Um, sensors, you can learn sensors. Again, this part might not be accessible if it's alarm company owned. Phone options, your phone numbers, account numbers, call wait code, dial delay, how long it takes to cancel an alarm. Phone numbers, security options, you know, that's really if it's hooked to a thing, downloading enabled, quick exit, phone lock, installer lock, things of that nature. To access the menu, status. Now, Disarmed. okay. Um, as you can see, there's going to be alarm history. Status button's lit up. System panic alarm. System tampered alarm. To clear this. System panic disarmed. That, as you can see, and then. System okay. So, uh, by the way, I don't know what these two things do. They are not available. Um, so we will discuss these when I do get those working. I did hope... Uh, this helped you understand your Simon a little bit better. I hope that uh, you enjoyed, and I promise um, a lot more videos to come. If you enjoyed, like, uh, thumbs up, you know, like, subscribe, and comment. Thank you, guys. I will see you on the next video.